last video to resumbunzia maswala ya price of oil growth especially tunapokuwa to shift from down to the farmland nataka nikupe mfano mwingine lakini pia take it kama setup kuja kuchukua trade kwa sababu ndo tunaenda kubadili trend ya one hour kwenye USDCHF maana yake itabidi wait mpaka tuje tupate three price market shift ya kwanza ya pili then the third one itakuwa reverse of the downtrend so from now we are going to change it from that uh, downtrend to an uptrend kwa sababu tayari tuna almost three my mini market structure break this was the first one this was the second one and this one also was the third one so that's all what we have now let me show you uh let me show you cha kwanza ni kwamba price ilicho kifanya uh macho ya watu wengi sana yako hivi ah uh, this is USDCHF price ilicho kifanya ilikuwa ina drop then imefanya this this break over here then ime break below so since ime break below this one is our target point hii hapa ni exchange target okay here yeah. lakini pamoja na kuwa na invalidation point kabla ya ku break this previous i mean lower high kabla ya ku break this previous lower high so tengeneza kitu kingine ambacho kinakita over so this point over here kwa hiyo tunachokitarajia is a price retest over here and the view ama retest mpaka ching ndio tunde you what we are going to do we are going to wait for the one hour candle to close above this line when i say to close above kwa mfano uh, a price imekuja imegota hapo look at this candle kwa mfano price imekuja imegota hapo lakini pamoja na kwamba imegota hapo lakini imekuja close above over there so we are waiting for the price to come and test this area over here as an overthrow then we to find any ndo mtendeleni so here it's my entry on USD CHF as you know that USD you got strong sana leo and and, and few coming days that are was strong you have put some pullback za kumfanya kuwa weak hizo zikosekana kwa hiyo hizo ni fact ambazo zinanifanya mimi nije buy USD CHF kwenye overthrow instead of kusubiri ifike kwenye lakini pia nikienda kwenye swala la 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 basic engineer liquidity ama kutengeneza implementation according to time frame coordination then naenda pa uh, 15 minutes na kuja kukutana na this point over here okay na kuja kukutana na this point over here this point over here so inaniongezea possibility ya mimi price kuja ku reverse around this area okay around um, this area where all my entries that go up and I'm planning to have uh, almost to have up on those two entries up lakini kwa wale ambao watatoka wasubiri mpaka igote hapa pia it's okay so that was in past episode for your episode video peter is on the so actually it was an introduction to the swahili forex trading strategy season 1 so tutakuwa na hii season 1 for for for, for some moments lakini tutajua mbele ya safari what to do ili ili kuhakikisha tuna 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 tunafanya kitu ambacho kinatufaa okay. lakini pia kitu ambacho kitaongeza trading skills yetu so hiyo ndio ilikuwa introduction to this what this this trading strategy especially in Kiswahili series uh, episode 1 leo ndazungumzia market structure na kitu ambacho nitaenda kukilenga sana ni kwenye ku change trend okay ni ku change trend yawezekana yawezekana nimeshazungumzia tayari kwenye 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 baadhi ya video kwa nyuma lakini naomba nifanye summary kwenye naomba nifanye summary iko hivi price inapokuwa kimovu kutoka juu kuja chini na kwa nitabia kwenye lower low na low high low low na low high hizi ndo market structure kwa maana tunapo break tuna break market structure 
Now, most of the time, when I expect as a basic test in this area, I might test in this area going here, my friend. Channel number nine. Lengo letu ni nini? Lengo letu ni kwamba tunataka kujua kwamba tunajuaji kama hii trend imefika mwisho na nao tunenda kubadili kwenda juu. Au hii trend hiyo kwenda juu imefika mwisho tunenda kubadili kwenda chini. Iko hivi. Price inapokuwa kidrop this way. We must get a break of some like this one. Yaani ni kwamba lazima to break previous the uh, previous low I mean it lower high it will shift the market structure to shift it to go down when the going up trade na baada ya kushift maeneo ambayo tuna expect kuyachukulia trade eneo la kwanza wa guide hili hapa either kwa ku consider demand na supply au liquidity eneo lingine huwa ni hili hapa kwa ku consider inflation points na in lakini the last area tuna consider this Uh, the, show, uh, the market, I mean, structural retest, I'm a double bottom. I'm not going to down. But I expect the price to retest on this area over here, when they do. I will retest in Paka, Hapa, when they do. I will retest to Hapa, Mazon. So, if he can do a Shiria number one, I'm going to identify market structure. I'm going to get a fan. Lakini lengo ambalo ni ponalo kwenye hii episode ni kuonyesha kukolfai ipi ni strong lakini ipi ni weak market structure shift eh? ipi ni change of the trend na ipi sio change of the trend sometimes market structure kabisa inafanya break of the previous low high inafanya break lakini at the end of the day basi inakuja na break this all this point below ina zi break kwa nini kwa sababu trend inakuwa bado ipo kwenye cycle yake i mean haijakamilisha cycle ya down ili kushift to uptrend sasa tuna qualify vipi uh, kwamba hii trend imekamilika kutoka i mean kutoka kushuka na nao tuna shift kwenda juu cha kwanza cha kwanza tunachokiangalia ni ni trend cycle trend cycle tunasema kwamba lazima tupata twist two break of structure kwa maana ya kwanza tutengeneze inflation then it will break price and the chini then it will tengeneze kingine ana free break then the last one the last one hii ndio itakuwa shift of the market okay hii ndio itakuwa shift of the market na kitu kikubwa na cha pekee ambacho tunakiconsider kwenye shift of the market ni lazima listen to me ni lazima to break at least two previous lower high e na e tukishai e break this way hapa kuna possibility kubwa sana kwa sisi kuja kupata trade hapa ama kwenye price over slow ama kwenye hii double bottom up here ama structural retest okay kwa hiyo hii ndio inatupa clarification ya kwamba We are totally now about to change the trend. At least it will change to previous I mean lower. I mean lower high. Okay? Go so the same case to an uptrend ni hivyo hivyo kwamba the price ina kupoti move kwenda juu then ili to shift the trend to the market to the break of structure over here then it will shift break of structure I mean structure over this area here but I have put my tarajia pesa test here down ama ije ama itoke hapa ije test hapa then it will drop down ama ije kwenye last top over there okay i hope you many there as i said that it could confirm kwamba it the total change of the trend from the up trend to down trend itategemea na time frame ambayo itakuwepo lazima at least to pate nimesema two break of structure that may break ya kwanza there then it will go to me breaking ngine over here then tumekuja tume break ya tatu sasa this will be the last one kwa nini nafanya hivi kwa sababu market is not always the same kwamba itatengeneza haha sometimes inakuwa na vitu kama hivi inakuwa na zigzag way i need to show you the reality of the market kwa hiyo ukishapata break of structure ya kwanza break of structure ya pili ya tatu at least inakuwa it a change of the trend na as i said that at least it will too low hapo ndo tunakuwa confirmation ya ya nini ya ya ku 
kuchange trend kutoka kwenye uptrend to downtrend na hii ndio best way ambayo mtu anaweza kutengeneza tips 100 200 kwenye ku trade forex currencies okay so let me go on the chart to show you some examples on how we could buy the price change of the market structure let me show you let's go ah uh, nataka nichukulie mfano wa kwanza kwenye ccha hapo tuna consider vitu vingi kuja kuchukua entry lakini i need to show i mean i mean i need to share with you this is some confirmation kuonyesha wewe reality of trading kwa mfano uh, nachukulia hii hapa hii hapa kama trend yetu kwamba ilianzia hapa okay kama trend yetu ilianzia hapa kwa maana ya kwamba tulishift tulishift market kwa kutengeneza this clean foundation point then price irudika test maana yake tumeactivate sell sume nera maana yake tuliactivate sell actually sizani kama ni hapa na hisi ni hapa jo hapa ndio tuliactivate sell kwa sababu tulikuwa na this uptrend ambayo ilienda kushia hapa then from there tuliactivate this sell over here okay that sell over here sasa kama tuliactivate sell around this area Okay. kama tuli activate around this area. Ah. Manake kwenye trend yetu tayari tuna shift of the market ya kwanza ya ambayo watu wengi sana waliangalia buy kutoka hapa at the end of the day it break below. Then tukaja tukawa I mean this was the, the sorry ni kwamba hii ndio activation yetu ya trend then from there tukaja na shift market ya kwanza then tume drop mpaka here tumekuja tumefanya shift nyingine ya pili around this area tukie expect buy lakini price ipo break kwa sababu ilikuwa bado sasa ipo tena kamili then sasa tumekuja kupata break of structure ya tatu around this area let me show you what i was trying to say kwenye nani kwenye kwenye market structure ku confirm kuona kwamba hii ni strong na hii si strong. Ukiangalia this point over here kwamba cha kwanza tumeshapata two market break of structure na hii ya tatu ni ile ya kubadilisha change of the trend. Cha kwanza ni kwamba price ime break ime break ime break below then ime kuja na kuna bar. Let me show you. Naomba nifute hivi. Hii hapa ndio foundation point yetu lakini kuna this high over here hello over there lakini pia na here hapa ni hello i mean low high low high actually ah sasa this one this is number 1 broken this is number 2 broken kwa watu ambao tuna consider kent kwa wale ambao wana consider week that this is one this is two na zote zilikuwa broken na hii market as you see that we break all the way to that point ah in extend i mean in extend ni kwamba watu wengi sana wali wali walihisi kwamba this is the fake break na nini lakini it's true a collective break of the market structure kwa vigezo ambavyo nimefundisha kwamba cha kwanza tume qualify tuna two break tuna 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 two market phase ambazo zimeshakuwa broken ya kwanza hii hapa ya pili ni hii hapa okay na ya tatu sasa hii ndo change of the trend na ndo sehemu ambako tunaenda kuconsider kuchukua trade as i speak on this video ni kwamba hii ni setup ambayo nakupa either uchukue ama usichukue ni yako so what we are waiting for kungu mimi kungu mimi nikishachukua trade yangu ndaichukulia around this area. Okay, around this area. Na nita risk almost tips 20 na 5. That's my risk. Okay, tips 20 na 5 around this area. Kwa hiyo nita take buy yangu hapa, nita risk tips 20 na 5. My first target it's 100 pips. This will be my first TP. This is the first TP almost this is one lesser for lakini kwa kila ambacho mimi nakiamini kwenye USD CHF USD CHF na mwa expect kuja kutest 
this point over here before I to just said. So I'm expecting it to test in this area before we send. So Nafkiri Tagwana almost did this in here, Tatu Kasol. Let me say thank you for joining this video. Lakini asante kwa support yenu. Endelea kusubscribe kama huli subscribe. Lakini endelea kuchia video hizi. Hili ziwafikia watu wengine zaidi wakati tunendelea kujifunza forex trading, especially kwenye strategies of kutumia kwenye kwa faida. Here we are looking for maximizing profit na minimize loss. So I'm the man himself here to guide you by any means kwa kikisha kwa mba kwenye kwa faida kwenye forex market structure. Kitu kingine ni kwa mba usisite kujoini Telegram channel yetu, kule tunatoa mfunzo, kule tunatoa signal, kule tunatoa material ambayo naeza kakusaidia wewe kumaximize your profit, lakini pia kukeza skills yako, especially kwenye trading. Kwa hiyo, nishukuru sana kwa support yako, lakini pia usisite kumitafuta kwenye social media, natumia official self, telegram, instagram, in Facebook and Twitter, we can be official himself. Thank you guys for switching on this. Until next time.